This book is a reference in John Conway's uh, Points of Topology, and uh, I, I, I got an old copy, a used copy, uh, so it's James uh, Dugunji uh, Topology, and um, Mr. Ed Thurber, if you're out there, this is your book. Uh, USC, I imagine it's uh, University of Southern California, and so somebody paid $12.95 for this book, and uh, it looks like it's the first edition, and so it's, he probably bought it uh, in 1960-something, around the time when I was born. Uh, so the book is really, really good. Uh, it's got a lot of material. And, uh, I mean, you can pause it and read this part. I'm not going to read it. And you can do the same for that. So uh, one thing that I really like about the book is it's got a lot of ordinals and cardinals which is uh, new material to me in the case of Wardnall, so I've read a little bit about it as, a, as I read through Conway's uh, points of topology. And so yeah, it's, it's got a lot of content. It's got weak topology. It's got the separation axioms, metric spaces. Yeah. It's got a lot of uh, vector spaces of uh, functions which Conway uh, talks about a lot. And then it's got a little bit of uh, algebraic topology. Or a lot, perhaps. Yeah. So I'll point out a few more uh, things that I noticed. As I mentioned before, it's got a lot of content of ordinals and cardinals. And I'm only going to show a few pages. Uh, just to give you a flavor of what the book uh, reads like. One thing that I really like, well, number one, it's got a ton of proofs, all very detailed. Uh, also, it does this uh, historical thing that I like, where it'll tell you sometimes who the uh, original author of that theorem is. Yeah, see, it'll say this corollary comes from Bernstein Schroeder. Then, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of content about the ordinal number, linking it to cardinal numbers. It's got lots of problems, all of them at the end of each chapter. Lots and lots of problems. No answers as expected from this type of book. Now, as an old topology book, also zero diagrams. There you have it. Completely regular. Complete spaces. And then the, uh, the piece de resistance in this book is this diagram. I guess I'll zoom in on it, but I'm going to show it after I show the latter part of the book. Uh, let me see. So it's got it's got an appendix on ver vector spaces and polytopes, which I don't know anything about. So I'm just showing you the book. Um, and then one about direct and inverse inverse limits. Also, I don't know anything about it. And an index. Yep. But then in this case, and I will zoom in for this, I found this diagram really really cool because it shows you how you get from uh, spaces that are a lot more restrictive in their properties to spaces that are less restrictive, so Hausdorff. Uh, and so, for example, paracompact gets you to normal, but here's a little trick that I found as, as I'm reading about paracompactness. Yes, but, and the theorem in uh, Munkers is, a, space is para a Hausdorff space is paracompact, then it is normal. So it's got to be Hausdorff. So I think the way that I read this diagram, and again, I'm going to do a lot more topology than I've done so far, is everything in here is Hausdorff, to get to Hausdorff. And so as you keep going higher up the mountain, everything has to be all the other stuff. And so a separable metric space is regular Linden de Luff, is paracompacted, is normal, completely regular, regular and Hausdorff, and so on. So it just, yeah. So I, if you're a collector of topology books, let me zoom out for this as I end this video. 
this, uh, I think this book belongs in your library. Uh, if you are a, uh, a student of topology and not a collector of books, I would say it also should belong in your library as well. Yeah, so there you have it. That is uh, Dugunchi topology.